Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and oh look, there's me for anybody who's interested and there's me again. Um, yes, yeah, so as you may have guessed, I do live on a little narrowboat, which is why getting myself a nice inflatable kayak was such a perfect fit to my lifestyle. The one I'm in today is a Intex Challenger K1 for anybody who's interested and I thought I would share with you a few clips from kayaking along the canal around the Western Rin Chirk area, including, of course, the big one going over the Chirk Aqueduct. Uh, so I thought, as this is the first video uh, where I'm using my new helmet camera, action camera, whatever you want to call it, I'd try a few different uh, camera angles and just see what we all liked. I think, personally, I prefer just the proper straight-up uh, using it as a point of view head camera but ultimately I just wanted to share with you the general sights and scenery of the canals at this level a completely different perspective from when I'm boating along here and just being this low in the water as you can see there I'm kneeling up and really putting some effort in here wow the drama of kayaking on the as you can see incredibly wavy white water rapids of the canal there <laughs> so yeah, really, I just wanted to share with you what it's like. And it's got to be said, I really love getting on the kayak. I really, really have been enjoying it. Even when the weather's not been too fantastic, just being at this really low level, you can see it right at the sort of almost water level of the canal. And being able to go past and see the little squirrels ducking and diving around. And it's hopefully going to be fantastic as we see this action shot of almost a silhouette of myself there. Wow, look at me go. Um, but yeah, being this low in the canal, I think when it gets to the summer months, it's going to be fantastic. And I'm certainly looking forward to uh, when the herons are about. So I've been able to get up and very close to an awful lot of uh, general wildlife, even if it is just ducks, geese, squirrels, and the occasional moorhen. And well, there's the, some of the mentioned geese. It's just great to be on a kayak and taking life as slowly as you want. And I mean, I've literally been on the kayak and going on Facebook and posting pictures and just floating around, especially at this time of year where there are just very few boats around. But here we go. This is the big one. Chirk Aqueduct and the structure to the left-hand side of the screen with all the arches is the viaduct with many trains running over. Unfortunately, none came over while I was kayaking, so I couldn't show you the absolute perfect shot of me in a kayak on an aqueduct with a train going past. But this is somewhere that I've been on the boat many times and it's where I spend my winters moored up in this area. And just look at that. I mean, you've got just an aqueduct, a viaduct and perfect valley right. scenery either side as a jogger just goes past there. Now this, in any weather, is fantastic. And when I'm moored up on the far side of this, and you can see Chirk Tunnel just at the end there, when I'm more up on the other side of that, this is literally where I get to bike in, and this is part of my commute in and out of work very often, or certainly over the winter months and sometimes over the summer. I spent a couple of months last summer moored up at Chirk Marina, and heading in and out of work on, I don't know, maybe a 9-10 mile bike ride, can't say off the top of my head, and... Literally having things like Chirk Tunnel and then this as the very beginning and very end to each of your days. Oh, absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, I can now say in this video that I have finally done Chirk Aqueduct on foot, on bike, on boat and on kayak. Uh, the only thing left, I suppose, is to do it by plane or something based in the air. Maybe by power kite. <laughs> So yeah, I just thought I would share this footage with you, and obviously because this is the big one, the aqueduct, this is where I've let all of the footage of this video basically stack up to, so maybe it is a little bit heavy, but at least you get to see pretty much the entire crossing, and ultimately, who doesn't want to look at footage like that, unless you're pretty grumpy or just don't want to look at it. And um, So yeah, this has turned into a completely random commentary on this uh, video here. Uh, interestingly, or maybe not interestingly, it is here where if I moor up uh, pretty much from the last bridge that you saw me go over up until the aqueduct, if I want internet signal or phone signal at all, then I have to literally walk out onto Chirk Aqueduct 
I mean, sometimes can be, I, I don't know, between a five and a five minute and a 30 second walk. And that is where I will be able to actually speak to people on the internet or just in general, communicate with the wider world outside. And it's like I say, when you've got that as your sort of basic scenery for your everyday life, life is not bad at all, even in the rain. And get ready, this is a moment that I really like, really cool. You can see, I've put the camera down now so you can see the paddles. Get ready, get ready. Wow, look at me turn, dragging the kayak around with one oar in. And then look at that, for the perfect lingering shot back down the aqueduct. So, thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos for a load more boat life and outdoorsy stuff like this. Feel free, of course, to add my personal account on Facebook, like the Facebook page itself, follow me on Twitter, all that sort of stuff. And, of course, make sure you check out my books about living on a boat, The Narrowboat Lad and The Narrowboat Lad Living the Dream. Until the next time, have a fantastic day and farewell.